from 2016. A picture of school playground equipment from 1900 is telling. There are numerous poles, bars, swings, ladders, a bike, lots of children very high up in the air. They're having fun sliding down a pole. When you master it, it is liberating for a child. The equipment was still available in the early 70s, but the Alinsky movement had spawned personal injury lawyers, and now occupational health and safety forbid such structures, because what if a child falls and dies? It is not inconsequential, and accidents happen. Children lack cool judgment, but then so do adults. Driving cars is dangerous, too. Often, only a few meters separate smooth traffic from a head-on collision. What if a jihadi were to exploit that? But a child develops through play, and those structures taught magnificent lessons. As a child, I was too intimidated to go near such a thing. I was used to betrayal from an older sibling, and I knew never to give them a chance. But it saddens me that children cannot play on such things any more. What has socialism done for anyone in the world since 1900? We will never know who might have died, but we know that no child gets to play on such things. For some, at the moment, the sex party has more credibility.